Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 3rd. And a special thanks to Bill Murray for filling in for me last weekend so I could attend the Pike Piddlers Storytelling Festival in Troy, Alabama. Our satellite image this morning shows a good deal of cloudiness across the uh, southeastern United States, especially across the northern half of the state of Alabama. The uh, culprit here is that we have a surface high pressure over the coastal Virginia, coastal North Carolina area, and that is uh, bringing the southerly flow around across the lower Mississippi River Valley and increasing our moisture. In the upper atmosphere, we do have a nice trough that's along the east coast of the United States, and uh, that helping uh, to keep us uh, in relatively uh, cool weather, but we'll see some warm-up this week. The colder weather, as you can see on the U.S. Uh, temperature map, uh, covers uh, the eastern U.S., north central, uh, the um, north central U.S., the Great Lakes, and uh, into New England and down along the mid-Atlantic states. Across the state of Alabama, uh, much of the state is actually at or slightly below the freezing mark, but not what I would call anything um, extremely cold. Uh, Mobile at 35 degrees is one of the warmer spots in the state of Alabama. Uh, radar showing some showers beginning to develop over the southeast Texas coastal area. And uh, we do have a little bit of uh, echoes showing up across northern Mississippi and northern Alabama. But the sounding from Shelby County Airport last night shows that the lower part of the atmosphere is very dry. So I think most of that is not reaching the ground. The uh, watch warning map is uh, a little bit active. We do have some winter weather advisories for the southern Appalachians where they're looking for one to three inches of snow and the possibility of some ice accumulations. There's also a good deal of winter weather uh, advisories, warnings, watches, and all across the north central U.S. to the western Great Lakes. Our QPF uh, indicates that a fairly widespread two-inch amount over a, a good portion of the southeastern U.S., and that's good since we're uh, dealing with drought. Storm Prediction Center showing the possibility of some showers uh, that could have a little bit of thunder over the lower Mississippi River Valley for today, day one. Day two, that spreads over uh, much of uh, Alabama, parts of Georgia, Florida, and Mississippi. And then for day three, it moves back into the uh, Arkansas area. All right, the 06 GFS model run this morning. And right now, we're under a bit of a kind of a zonal flow, but we're watching a little trough coming into uh, the uh, Oklahoma Panhandle area. And uh, with the surface high moving off the mid-Atlantic coast, again, that's bringing that southerly flow in, so going to help us to moisten up and uh, we'll see uh, rain develop. Rain develops actually tonight uh, around midnight, and uh, that should be moving into our area. So it looks like the predominant chances for rain are going to come uh, during the first half of Sunday. We see kind of a double shot here. We've got the one little trough moving through at 18Z on Sunday. That should bring an end to the rain, but then there's a, a little bit of a colder shot right behind that over Iowa. So uh, it looks like the rain should come to an end for the afternoon, so the afternoon should be dry across our area uh, and not especially cold. That colder shot moves on over to the Atlantic uh, um, uh, coast, and as it does, we come under weak ridging on Monday. It looks like Monday should be dry as the surface high moves across the Ohio River Valley. We stay under a somewhat zonal or south, slightly southwesterly flow. And once again, that's going to set the stage for another trough that's coming in uh, on um, midday on Wednesday. And that should bring a pretty good shot at some precipitation. Once again, it looks like probably Tuesday evening uh, into the first half of Wednesday. Once again, we should be drying out. And uh, while there is some uh, surface cape, uh, values uh, are certainly sufficient. They're not overly uh, concerning. Uh, it looks like the... Um, 
Lapse rates aloft are basically just uh, not quite enough to worry about severe weather. That trough moves on Thursday, and uh, once again, we come under a ridging by Friday. So uh, that looks like uh, probably uh, our highs in the lower 60s. Uh, Friday, we begin to see moisture coming in once again at midday. So that uh, paves the way for a nice southwesterly flow and a nice round of some wet weather. I know I hate to give up a Saturday, as I'm sure most of you do, but uh, with the drought situation, I certainly hope that this uh, verifies nicely because we can use the rain without the threat of severe weather. By Sunday, a nice strong trough is coming across the, the uh, middle and lower Mississippi River Valley, so that should bring an end to the rain. We stay under weak ridging out through the 14th of February, so we should stay fairly dry there and not a, uh, terribly cold. We do see by Friday the 16th that we have a double uh, trough situation, one over West Virginia and Pennsylvania and another one back there uh, approaching the Dakotas. And uh, that second one is likely to dig in pretty nicely on the East Coast and bring us some cooler weather once again. Well, I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. I expect to have the next one posted here first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, be sure to check back for notes on Alabama's weather. Have a great day. Godspeed. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090. AL certification number 11120.